Every conservative political commentator loves to point out hypocrisy. They sit on talk radio, they sit on YouTube, they do it all day long, bringing up those headlines from ridiculous liberal magazines and newspapers, TV reports, all kinds of celebrities, pointing out over and over again how hypocritical the left is. You hear them say it all the time, you know, if the left didn't have double standards, they'd have no standards at all. Look at what this crazy left-winger is doing. I mean, come on, what if the positions had been reversed? If a right-winger had done this, if a conservative had done this, it would have been the end of them. They would have been fired. They would have been destroyed. Seriously, you can get endless amounts of this stuff all day. In fact, many, many people have made a very handsome living doing exactly this, selling this idea that hypocrisy is terrible and it's eventually going to cost the left something to their audience. And don't get me wrong, we're all guilty of this at some point, even those of us who should know better fall into this from time to time. It's hard not to, because the hypocrisy really is blatant. But the important thing to understand is at the end of the day, this doesn't actually do anything. Pointing out hypocrisy like this is not a winning strategy, it's just hollow cope. I mean, the right has been doing this for many decades, and it has gotten them nowhere. They have only lost ground. They have never gained it. But it seems like all the right is actually able to do. And I think the reason for that is very simple. The conservatives are completely unaware that they lost many decades ago and are appealing to a common standard of behavior that no longer exists. They are acting as if they are on equal footing when they are not. Conservatives engage in the culture war, they engage in political dialogue as if they are one of the major bargainers at the table, as if they have power and they can make demands and they can hold the other side accountable for their behavior. They cannot. But in the end, this actually serves the interests of progressives. It actually serves progressives to keep conservatives on this treadmill, believing that they have power, believing that they have a say, believing that they're operating on equal footing. It helps them because it makes their enemies look stronger and it helps them then rev up their base, justify the things that they want to do because they can make conservatives look like an enemy that is more dangerous than it really is. And it also means that conservatives are never willing to actually address issues in a way that can move the ball forward for them because they simply do not understand what position they are operating from. You see, calls of hypocrisy, charges of hypocrisy only really work if there is some kind of shared expectation of behavior to which everyone must adhere. Conservatives are busy trying to accuse progressives of not playing by the rules of the marketplace of ideas. This is why conservatives love the Ben Shapiro dominating college kids with facts and logic videos, because they think they're in some kind of high school debate. Conservatives are still suffering under the delusion that if they just provide the right evidence, they just make the right arguments, they just point out all the hypocrisy, well then the scales will fall from the eyes of everyone, they will realize the error of their ways, everything will be put back right, the United States will run by the Constitution again, the system will work again, and America will just get back on track. But that's never going to happen. These two different standards being applied to Republicans and Democrats, these two different standards being applied to red states and blue states, these two different standards being applied to Biden voters and Trump voters, these are not accidents and these are not something that the left is ashamed of. This is not something that progressives are trying to hide. They are setting up a two-tiered justice system and they want everyone to know it. They are creating a class system in the United States, and they want to make that increasingly clear. It is not hypocrisy that progressives can go out and riot in the middle of a pandemic when you can't go to church. It is not hypocrisy when Biden voters are allowed to go out and dance in the streets and celebrate and sip champagne while they want to burn you at the stake for not wearing two masks at the grocery store. It is not hypocrisy that they can burn down major U.S. cities, pillage local businesses, and beat people in the streets while law enforcement is told to stand down, but they will hunt down every single person who is anywhere near the capital on January 6th. It's not hypocrisy. It's hierarchy. It is dominance. 
It is the politically and socially advantaged class exercising their privilege, their right, over the lower classes. They have the power, they are in control, and they are telling you to know your place. They control your employment, they control your social standing, they can deperson you on social media, they can slander your reputation in the headlines, and now they can even keep you in indefinite quarantine if you won't listen and do what you're told. As the neoliberal state comes up with more and more excuses to extend its reach and control every aspect of human life, the ability of the regime to punish those who disagree with it grows and grows. America has simply become two separate countries, at least two separate countries, and has been like that for a long time now. And that growing cultural divide has made us all leery of each other, has made us all suspicious of each other. Progressives have definitely figured out that they can use this to generate a large amount of power from their supporters. Because they own all of the consensus-making apparatus, because progressives control all the pieces of what we like to call the cathedral, all the things that set the frame in which we have our cultural discussions that guide the way people think about issues, they are able to sell a vision of the right to their supporters that allows them to justify the subjugation of those people. They are able to manufacture a narrative that makes it seem just to create these second-class citizens, because they deserve it. Progressives, Biden voters, they are high-status, well-educated college graduates who believe and trust in science, who fight for racial and gender equality, who are allies to the downtrodden. While MAGA supporters are dangerous, backward hicks who hate science, hate equality, hate progress, want to send everyone back to the 1850s, and simply do not deserve the same considerations and rights as other people. It's okay to treat these people differently. They are bad people, bad people who want to hurt the downtrodden and do not care about the progress that has been made. In fact, they want to turn back the progress that has been made. The left does not care about hypocrisy, and it will not be made to care about hypocrisy, nor will it be made to pay for that hypocrisy, because they have now built a system in which it's not hypocrisy. It's hierarchy. And until that system falls apart, until that system comes down, until those structures that they have erected to separate and divide society into two classes are replaced or removed, no calls for common decency will end up winning the day. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, now's a great time to do so. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter or support my work on Subscribestar, like the fine and generous people who are currently being displayed on the screen, you can follow the links that are below the video. If you want to support the channel while getting a little something extra, there is a merch store that also has a link below. And as always, if you want to share out the content, that really helps the channel grow. Thank you guys again for watching, and as always, I'll talk to you next time.